The boy accidentally fell into the water, but 32 years later, he wakes up in a field in China. Confused, he encounters a kind Chinese couple who realize he's lost. They try to help, but when they ask for his parents' names, the boy faints. With the help of the police, they contact the U.S. Embassy, and Mike is taken back to his home country. However, the problem arises as the boy has no passport or ID. Where did he come from, and where should he be sent? There are no reports of missing children matching his description, and due to his trauma, he can't provide any information. The only clue is the name Jakob written on the boy's shirt, possibly his name. The boy types a word into the phone, and the agent assumes it's Mike's birth year.